go. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm here with Steven Erickson. Hey Steve. Hello. Thanks for coming out to Long Beach. Yep. Uh, Steven came in from Iowa because he made this device that I think is absolutely electric when it comes to using your body a little bit more. So what this video is, is if you've already got, or maybe are considering getting, but if you've already gotten the Ericsson Bell, we're gonna go through kind of like, okay, I have this thing now, it looked cool on the video, what do I do with it? Like when, when you've seen regular golfers, yep. how many regular golfers are too upper body dominated? Well, yeah, almost all of them. Okay, yeah. okay. So say. is what's the point of this? What's the point of the Ericsson Bell? Um, I would say the point is, so I actually invented it because I was, it, I was teaching a 13 year old girl and she had exactly that kind of swing where there was really no idea how to use the lower body. So okay. just as you typically do, just because a golf club is light, right? So you just, your body knows, well, I don't have to do anything except I'll just do that. So okay. I thought I need to really teach her how to have motion first. So this was attractive to me when I heard Steven say this because it's like learning golf a little bit different. It's like the underlying skill and thing you want to do in golf, normally you're thinking is like, oh, I want to hit ball, you know? Yeah. Instead of hit ball, the underlying thing you're saying is no, like I want to move correctly and yes. then add the hit later. Yeah. So yeah, the so hit really, happens. so yeah. really, yeah, never add a hit. So the first thing, and I, I'm developing this too because it's fairly new, but the thing I realized, I built the grip to, to simulate proper positions yeah. to force you into proper positions really so at first i didn't talk about grip because because of the idea of doing motion first but i realized it's a pretty easy to start so put yours down let it rest mm -hmm. against your legs yep put your arms like this first mm -hmm. even even more very elbows up yep so that keeps you from doing anything okay yeah hee-haw right so then just in your fingers and just let it hang in your fingers even don't even grip it right and so that's the feeling you want to start with. So that keeps that, that sort of thwarts your upper body. So Does that make sense? Going like shin to shin almost. Yeah, yeah. shin to shin. You've gotten better uh -huh. at it with your arms, but most people really have trouble not having, the skill of taking tension out of your arms is difficult for people, okay. right? You see, especially men, because they're used to muscling it. Like I can see that you're using your arms. Let it do this more, right? It, let it be more, fluid so that hinge is part of the motion so yeah. you need to feel like if you're coming from a dead stop you need to toss it more you don't want to rotate it back and rotate it through you want a little bit of a toss and it's just right in the middle okay oh so it's not all the same no um, not be the there's same. a little extra right exactly there, no though. yeah all the force is and that's exactly what you want in a swing you want all your force right here on a backswing right yeah. here mm -hmm. right it doesn't have to be big but it still has to be in the same place okay so we've done this this open hands on the fingers yep. little rocking yep. motion like this yep. and then what, where do we graduate to so now start driving it with a little lateral motion of your body and and go ahead and you can overshoot with this if that yeah, makes sense. Like the golf swing, you might not necessarily go oh, so lateral. Well, but you, can go more you wouldn't go lateral this way at all. Yeah. But you can go, you can go, I can go very offset, right? Shift so all the way and then turn. Shift, turn, all the way and turn. There you go. And you'll see, it feels like you're moving all around, right? Yeah. But if you were to film his head from this direction, you will notice his head is actually moving very little, right? So the center of his swing isn't moving around just just the lower body so that's a so you classic feel like you for me i feel like i shift and i don't turn until like i have to like exactly kind of that's where you want to be okay so the shift is the move more the shift is the active move and the turn is the reaction to the shift so it's a different sort of a different sequence that's the hardest thing in the Dr. Kwan schools is to get people to shift before they turn right almost always everybody and goes it's very hard to do you it see it when people yeah. first use this they go they muscle turn, it and yep. then yeah. try to they turn it. Yeah. So once you have the okay. task of being on plane, you're not going to do that because that, that goes here. So the task, and then particularly on the forward swing, you'll see very quickly if you have somebody doing this and you okay. say, no, it has to keep going, they instantly break. What do you mean by keep going? Like you don't like to see this like come flat like a table. You want this no, to still... I mean, you could eventually. Eventually you would in a real swing, right? Like for now. Here, but you wouldn't do it here. Okay. 
Step one is the open hands, basically shin yep. to shin, just yep. getting this thing, yep. uh, getting yourself to, to move it with very little arms and hands. Yep. And, but, and also feel hinge drop, hinge drop. Oh, there's a little toss and this angle just doesn't just stay straight. It, it actually comes. Yeah. So let it, just let it hinge. You're really responding. This is really about what this is doing. Okay. Right. If you start thinking that the body is making this happen, that's backwards. Okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's the same thing with a golf club. The only thing that really matters is what this is doing. Okay. And your whole, the whole idea of shifting and turning is to move this. Support that. Would, no, it moves it forward in space, right? If I, if I don't, if I just rotate, it releases right here, right? Mm -hmm. And it releases as I turn, right? Yeah. If I turn with it, it releases as I turn. But if I go, if I take this and move it, shift, and then go, now I'm already here, so, then it releases. So okay. that's so then what you're, you're trying to get yeah. to is a place where you're here and then you release okay. the golf club. So it's the timing of this. So similarly, but it's hard to feel, right? Because it's not very heavy. So hard, hard to feel how that naturally wants to fall mm -hmm. and to go with it. So... If you can feel that, like it's coming, it drops a little, and then you go, it's just a very, it becomes a very easy, right? You've got, you've captured all of the gravity first. Mm -hmm. So you get all this free speed, yep. basically. I know there's a different way, but the other way is to go really hard and spring back, right? Oh, gotcha. which, which people teach like long drive, right? The thing you're doing is really feeling once you get an idea of this, you're really feeling how it hinges up, drops, and you go with it, right? So you're not driving it, you're, you're, let, you're letting it tell you how to move, right? Okay. There you go. Yeah. So you're feeling it, it drops, and then you go. And then when you wanna add to it, take that feeling first, and now pick up a club. All right, so th then we're gonna do like a flip-flop between. I would flip-flop at this point. Okay. I would pick up that club and feel like I'm doing the same thing. Now you've gotta let your arms be part of that. Feel like you're getting a little shift, mm -hmm. but also even more than that, I think feel like you're feeling how when something is heavy, you would let it drop and then you would go with it. Okay. So get the feeling first with your trainer. Okay. I'll, I'll switch places with Yeah, you. okay. Yep. And it's all based really on Acquire a feel and then translate that feel. So, so let I'm it, feeling let the it drop hinge and then go with drops it. and then I go with it. Yep. Let it drop and rather then. than like kind of ripping and then snapping. No, yeah. no. Especially the turn part. So when you want to ramp it up, then it, the lateral becomes strong, but not the not the turn part. There Good. You go. Now feel that. Now see if you can feel as dead armed as that with a club. So let's practice with the club first. No, don't take it back. Start already. Mm -hmm. Stop that. Pick that one up again. Okay. Le leave it hanging right there and then now heave it back. Right. What would you do to get that going back? That's it. Now pick up your club and okay. imagine in your mind you're still heaving something that's five pounds. There. That's it. See how that there. feels different? Yep. yep. It does. Totally. Do that again there yep and all the way and then just put that through the ball now okay. put that move through the ball about 50 percent heave okay. 50 percent lift so okay gotcha. again did mm -hmm. you feel the difference uh yeah a little yeah, bit yeah a there's snatchy. just a little there you have an impulse to want to pick the club okay gotcha so part of the way to think about that is there's no up it's only lateral okay. with, with both devices, right? So the up just happens. The force is lateral, but the up just happens. There you go. Okay, that's different. Yeah. There you go. And like now that. feel the heaviness of this. In, and you have to keep feeling that heaviness right through the whole thing. Better. Yeah, that feels like no up at all. It's yeah, just... no up. You don't need up because up just happens. Okay. So up, the more, the bigger you want, you just heave a little more. Okay. But you only want to figure out, so, and this is a good practice. So let's say you're going, what are you hitting there? Pitching wedge. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So let's say you're just trying to hit a, you know the distance. The distance is then going to be this much, right? Okay. It's 
it's that's you're done figuring out how hard you're going to hit it if you go that far okay right? so it's just that much and then turn all the way through though everything through okay. so not don't swing through keep going yes just let it go it's relaxed through the ball close okay a little tug there or? no you just didn't keep quite turning you so your impulse is you get to about here and then your idea of what a golf swing is takes over a little bit oh and i put some hit into and it and you want to do a golf okay. swing with your upper so that body. ball should have carried like a lot shorter well no i don't know about that okay. i'm just saying i'm looking at your motion and i can see there's a point at which your upper body feels like it wants to apply itself to sure. the ball. so just like i had the erickson yeah, bell in my hand like, yep it's gonna and i'm gonna add nothing it up let it hinge and then yeah I felt better. Better? Yeah, closer. did. Yep. Yeah. Go all the way through it, though. So you have an impulse to get. There's a little intention right at the ball. Oh, OK. So, right? so, so you, take you're away. like, OK, I have to hit the ball. And it's sort of you sort of fake going all the way through it a little bit. Yep. So you have to forget. I mean, you really go off all the way through it as if you can't see the ball. OK. Right. So move all the way through it with zero control or worry about where the ball is. Yeah, going. like if I was swinging this. Right. You would just move through it. There would be no like little hiccup at no, the bottom. There would be no moment where your brain goes to get that ball, right? It just moves through. There, there you go. That felt so good. Yeah, that's better. I think that was better. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so then like uh, this is something that I was talking about when I did my own my video just yep. at at the night range. Remember yep. about the Erickson Bell. I said this to people sometimes like, wow, my swing looks really good when I'm like here to here. But then like, so if we want to hit it harder, you made a really great comment a second ago. It's like, it's not about what you do then from here on. It's like really in that initial heave. So a little, so harder. Let me yep. show you what harder is to me. So you've figured out basically the fun, fundamental swing plane and you've got something that's sort of very fluid, right? Yeah. Body driven, Which is fluid one, is, motion. Yeah. So you're not throwing yourself or adding a bunch of anything, right? So. I think there's three possibilities for adding speed. Well, maybe there's probably more. there's a hundred, but I don't know. But so one is obviously you just go bigger, right? Mm -hmm. You go bigger, you collect more gravity. I don't suggest going super big with this, right? And you don't really have to because the amount of force you put in just to get there is plenty when you pick up a club, right? So add more force and then just go through it. So you could do that. I think the other way that you add speed is just time better. Mm -hmm. So timing better is getting a shift forward sooner. So if yep. you look at with a club, so you can do a very dinky, if you, if you get very fluid like this, yeah. through the ball, a very dinky little fluid shot could be pretty big, right? Yeah. There's no like really hard moment of force in that. It's almost just like, like a, very continuous motion. Okay. You want to feel that too with this then. So feel like the application of force is very continuous and that requires transitioning in a way that you're not backswing. So the first way, the first way to get more speed is just bigger swing. The second way is the timing of the shift goes right. earlier and then it's, it's like, and then the method the that I actually myself would mostly use is yeah. I would emphasize the shift move. Okay. So this would be the same. So just hit the shift hard, not turn. Mm -hmm. Hit the hit the grounding yeah. force hard. Okay. And then let the Control swing that. be reactive. So, so the, the underlying thing is just to right. to learn to hit it here. Right. So in your daily training with this, you might do a lot of flip flops there and really challenge yourself. Even watch video of yourself to be like, all right. Yep. How arms driven was that? So yep. we'll do this and yep. then. Even if you have to go really small, just to kind of figure out, like, yep, okay, felt okay. good. And then if I want to go bigger, then my initial heave will be a little bigger, and then my lateral shift will be much bigger. It will yeah, really be the thing. More shift. Yeah, there you go. So emphasize the shift because if you shift like this, you just run out, and the turn happens, right? Gotcha. Yeah. If you put a lot of energy into the shift, the turn will just follow. So just hit, okay, gotcha. So that's kind of like a Mike Austin, that, that style of swing emphasizes more that lateral shift. 
There you go. Yeah, it felt good. Yeah, plenty big, right? And it feels yeah. it feels like feels like none lit, of the it's very none linear, of the yeah very none linear. of the extra energy was there. Right. The extra energy was here and then there. Exactly. And then I was just and then through it. Yeah. Right. It's just like a. It's just like it's shooting. Yep. Kind. Of. All right. So it's called the Ericsson Bell. So if you guys are interested in trying it out, go to e bell golf all golf mm -hmm. e bell golf one word dot com e bell golf dot com and you guys can get it. There's a discount for be better golfers as well if you use the promo code that we'll put in the description of this video. Thanks for coming out. Yep. Stay tuned. We're gonna be doing more videos with Steven here uh, with some other golfers and with me too.